I just thought I would show some people some tricks that I do. Now I have, get it in camera range, this. What I hate about this is not only is it hard to pour from this little hole, but I've had the lid come off of it before. And so while this is a neat idea to put the bottle on the outside, for me it's just not practical. It's, I mean, the lid just pops right off of there, especially if you have a thick plastic such as this. So this is something that I started doing, and I make my own. And see, this is just like a regular bag of some cappuccino mix that I have in here. And what I turn it into is this. I put the bottle cap inside of there so it pours. Really simple. Take a bottle. This one's been sitting out here for a day, but that's okay because I'm going to wash it. And what you want to do is you want to try to get this little ring off because that is going to help you. Now, sometimes I'm really good at getting the ring off. Hmm, sometimes not so much. Okay, please don't do what I do and use the first available sharp object. Now, this is what you want right here is you want the ring off. Then you're going to get a bag and you want it about right there because you want it about a little bit less than halfway around. So I know that I've got to take about that much off of it so I'm going to flip it in half and see right there it goes right into the middle. I'm just going to get some handy shears and I'm going to wipe that off. Now you see uh, that's not, see, see how it's just a little bit small? I'm going to wipe just a little bit more. Because you want it not quite halfway around. That should work. Then you have this. Now, I want to leave, like on this one, because I know this line right here, right around there, is enough for one cup of my cappuccino mix. So I'm going to very carefully whack, cut, slice, whatever polite word you want to do, use, whack around there. Now a lot of times I'll take a candle, especially if I've goofed up really bad like here, and I will just slightly round the edges off with a candle. You don't have to do that. It's not that bad. And then you're going to open up the bag. And you're going to slip this in there. And if it's too small, it's going to rip the bag. And that's one thing that you just don't want it to do is to rip the bag. So I'm just going to trim just a little bit more out of there. You only want it to be a fraction smaller. And then you're very carefully going to pull it down. And see it's sitting right there. Don't know if you can see it, it's sitting right there level with the rim. You can see where it's coming up on the sides. And then you're going to slip that ring back over it. And that's going to hold the bag in place. Now if you carry it around, now I carry these, I, I mean I, I find them under my seat, in a car, I keep them in my drawer at work, I carry them back and forth in my, to my purse at work, and a lot of times I'll put a rubber band on it, but this one doesn't have anything holding it down, and it works just fine. So this is what the final product will look like. This one is whacked off right at the edge, right at the edge here, so you can see where that one is, whereas this one, it actually has the cup inside so that you can do it. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead. And I have my mix here, and I'm going to go ahead and put my mix, oh, would help, Roxanne, silly girl, if I'd put the lid back on there. Now here, got that on it where it fell. Now here, 
is my finished bag. Now, if I want to use some of it right there, with that little cup being full, is the four tablespoons it takes for a cappuccino mix. And I go here, take it off, pour it in there, and put it right back on there, and it is a no mess solution. Now, if you have a pantry and you don't know what to do with these, a lot of times I will roll them down like this once I get all the air out of it. I'll roll them down and they can be stored flat like this or <laughs> you can roll them down and put them on a clothespin and hang them in your pantry to where you can have several of them poking out like this in a row and then you just have whatever. It could be your sugar mix, your oatmeal mix. Uh, this is cappuccino mix. Um, this one is great Kool-Aid that's mixed up. And you have it right here, all ready to go. Very simple.